Have you ever wished for an upgraded 737 that keeps the nice Boeing aesthetic but has the feel of that handy dandy fly-by-wire you get with an Airbus? Well stay tuned if you have because in today's video we'll be taking a look at probably the most underrated button in the Boeing 737 family which is the CWS button located under the autopilot knobs. Throughout all of my years flying virtual airliners and watching other people fly them as well, I've never seen this button be used by anyone at all, and the only time I ever came into contact with it myself was when I first started learning the 737 and I accidentally pressed it instead of the autopilot button, which eventually crashed my airplane, true story by the way. So what exactly does this feature of the Boeing 737 do? CWS stands for Control Wheel Steering and is a mode that sits somewhere between the autopilot and manual flight. When engaged you are able to control your aircraft by moving the yoke just as you would do when you are flying manually, but when you let go of the yoke the aircraft will help keep your aircraft in the specific pitch and heading you put it in. It is not the same as turning on the autopilot because in that case you have to control the aircraft via the MCP or mode control panel. But using CWS is also not just flying manually because there is still a certain degree of intervention from the aircraft, so that's why it's kind of in the middle of fully automated and manual flight. It's actually almost the same as the fly-by-wire system used by a lot of military aircraft and the Airbus family, as this system also allows the pilot to control the aircraft with the side stick, but it takes care of the trim for example, for you to keep your aircraft flying where you want it to. Despite the fact that I've never seen the CWS mode in action, it can actually be a very handy tool in a couple of scenarios. For example, when doing a visual approach. If you've done one of these approaches before, you'll know that if the approach requires a lot of heading changes, then it is often a lot easier to just use the yoke to turn the aircraft instead of fiddling with the heading knob all the time. But turning off the autopilot to do so isn't much better because then you have to do everything yourself and that can cause a very large workload which you don't need during approaches like these. CWS offers a nice middle ground here as it gives you directional control of the aircraft with the yoke but it still takes care of the trim for you which reduces your workload by a lot. You could also use it during standard ILS approaches when it is very gusty for example and you don't want to deal with trimming the aircraft out every 5 seconds due to the constantly changing wind direction and speed. Again, the aircraft takes partial control from you, you can still decide where your aircraft is going. So as you can see, whenever you want to fly the aircraft yourself but don't want to deal with the trim, you can use this mode instead of turning on the autopilot. You can even take it a step further by not using the CWS button on the MCP, but just turning off individual modes when the autopilot is turned on. So let's say for example you are flying and the aircraft is descending with a vertical speed you've selected on the MCP, but you want to use the yoke to change your heading instead of dialing it with the heading knob. What you can do in this situation is unselect the heading mode on the MCP, and what you'll see on your primary flight display is that the box which tells you your lateral mode will go blank, and under it will be a CWS R message, with the R standing for roll. Because no lateral mode is selected, you are now able to control the heading of the aircraft by turning the yoke, but as vertical speed mode is still active, the aircraft still takes care of that for you. Notice how the vertical magenta line of the flight director has now disappeared to let you know the aircraft no longer controls the lateral movement of the aircraft. You can do the same the other way around for when you want to take control of the pitch instead, then the PFD will display CWSP for pitch and then the horizontal line of the flight director will disappear, meaning you have full control of the pitch movement while the aircraft takes control of your heading. If you turn both the lateral and vertical modes off then you will see the flight director fully disappears and this is practically the same thing as just turning CWS mode on. So that's basically how you could operate this system during flight. If you want some more info about this specific mode, there is a pretty comprehensive webpage about it which I've linked in the description below. I think it's a pretty neat feature of the 737 and I'm honestly quite surprised by how little I've seen about it and the fact that barely anyone uses it, at least in the flight sim community. 
In effect, you are giving your standard bone the same fly-by-wire capabilities of an Airbus without having to fly an actual Airbus, which is great for all of you hardcore Boeing fans out there with a sweet spot for that handy-dandy fly-by-wire, because now you get the best of two worlds. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial, kind of. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I made another video about how to use the HUD system in the 737 a while ago, which yet again is one of those underrated features in the Boeing NG family, so be sure to check that out as well. For now, happy flying to all of you and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!